and recognize God in our own life. See, what we do, we so busy watching everybody else Amen. that we miss the things inside Amen. of us that need to be cleaned. Amen. We miss the things inside of us that need to be worked out. Amen. You begin the word, you, you come to the church house, you hear the preacher speak a word, and all of a sudden we, we play a volleyball. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> oh, that's for her. <laughs> Volley. <laughs> All right. We throw the ball to everybody else that we know, oh, that's for that person. That, but what's for me? All right. We've got to be ready. Yeah. We have to have ourselves together so that when Jesus comes, that he doesn't catch us unaware. Right. The Bible says that he's coming like a thief in the night. Right. And a thief don't give you no call. <laughs> right. They don't call you on the telephone and say, you know, when you finna go on vacation, Mm -hmm. Amen. Friday when y'all leave and pack up the car and stuff, I, we gonna be there about Friday night. Please leave the door unlocked because we want the TV, the VCR, and all the jewelry in the house. They don't give you a calling card. They come when you're not expecting them to come. The one time that you don't lock the car door, you'll come back and find your radio. Mm -hmm. Go. Amen. Wondering what happened. And Jesus said, he's coming like a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. And we have to be watchful. We've got to get our ADT and, and the security solutions or whatever uh, co company, amen, that works in the spirit. The angels of God are the one that taps us on our shoulders and let us know, look baby, you got to, you done ran all the way out. You need to come on back in and try to reel us back to where we belong, amen? Too many of us have been saved since Jesus was born and not been transformed yet. The Bible says that we are made new by the blood of the Lamb and we overcome by the words of our testimony. But our testimony amongst the unbelievers haven't been the best testimony. Amen. I've heard word on this week about people that I looked up to and thought the greatest things of. And all of a sudden, it's like they just lost their natural mind. And you're like, what in the world is wrong with you? How in the world are you in the word? How are you in relationship with a holy God? And all of that is coming out of your mind. How do you get so mad with somebody that you haul off and hit them? And you're supposed to be constrained by the Holy Ghost. Be ready. He said, be also ready. Be is a state of action. Amen? We be here. I know that's not proper English, but y'all know what I'm saying. Amen? We be here right now. Where we at? We be right here. Amen? Amen? It's a state of action. It's occupying a place or position. Yeah. I had to break this thing down for myself. I'm like, Lord, well, what do you mean? Be also ready. So aren't I saved? Yeah, you say it, baby, but you also need to be ready. All right. It, ye is an old English word. Y'all know what it means. Every time you hear King James and you say, you see ye, you know ye and thee mean you. Okay. And it, it means me, it means you. Me, thee, ye, and, 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 and thee. Amen? Amen? Also, this is the word that got me. In addition to. Mm -hmm. So, not only do you need to be saved, in this hour, you also, in addition to being saved, you need to be ready. All right. Amen. Good God. Ready is a completely prepared or in fit condition for immediate action or use. Amen. Whenever I say, Brother Andy, where you at? You notice he jumps up and gets behind that podium. Amen. He's got to be in the state of readiness. Listen, when we were in the military, we had readiness training. There couldn't be a time when we did not have all the stuff that we needed together. If you know that you are supposed to have your uniform in a certain kind of condition, you better get it together. Because when the call comes in the midnight hour, you don't have time to go and get nothing. In. You can't go to the dry cleaner. They close. <laughs> We have a bag that we pack. Amen? And inside of your bag, you had to have your MRE. You had to have your gas mask. Amen? I was in Japan. We had gas mask training. I hated it, but I had to do it. 
Because at any time the enemy could come in unawares. And when he comes in unawares, we have to know that we've got the we we got the stuff. Right. Ooh, person. This is a little I'm on your What what kind of sense does it make to have your bag packed? Everything that you need in the bag, but you don't know where your bag is. <laughs> Got your bag, but you don't know where it is. I know I packed that bag someplace. <laughs> Absent minded, don't know what we're doing, walking around as though we're in a daze, like we don't know what's up, we don't know what's going on. When attacks come from the enemy, we ought to know that we've got to take authority over those things. Yeah. I'm not going to just sit back and wait and watch the devil take my kids, watch the devil take my house, my husband, my wife. I'm not going to just sit. Be ready? Yes, ready. Also, saved and ready. Amen. Imagine you got your big old bag. Sorry, sister. <laughs> right. You got your big old bag. Amen. And you got most of the stuff in it. But the main thing, when they dropped the bomb and all the chemicals dispersed, the main thing that you need is not in your bag. There's no time to go back to the house. There's no time to go. And look, ain't nobody going to let you borrow this either. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you, Jesus. Completely prepared or in fit condition for immediate action or use. Duly equipped, completed, adjusted or arranged for an occasion or a purpose. Are you ready today? Brethren and sister, are you ready? Right. My God in heaven, so many times we sit back and we kick back, max and relax, and oh, I'm good. We came and came to the front, we gave the preacher our hand and our heart to God, and then we just start skating. Uh. <laughs> Ain't changed our playground. We haven't changed our playmates. We haven't put in the time that we need.